What's up guys, it's HON and today next on brother so little video with a little bit of information that you guys probably should have known already. Yeah, basically they did a dev blog and all the information that they gave, they basically gave it already or oh, it's simple as common knowledge. So let's break it down. So first of all, they're making it clear that it's not a different engine, it's just the Jupiter engine and they just basically updated it gave it some new little features in it how to handle shadows and st stuff like that and undercover dude is actually um, asking the questions the little q and a but we all know that those questions have been already played in youtube already and it's it's out there already so we didn't really need that video to clear up those types of questions about shaders and uh, the engine and stuff like that but we really wanted to see was in-game footage which we saw so let me just summarize everything that they said so basically they talked about since 2007 combat times release with that type of graphics and it never really changed from there until like seven years later we have something different and when they say different it's if you look at the gameplay video this type of quality should have been updated like years ago probably at least three years ago we should have had that type of quality in combat arms already as you can see jung flea looks a lot nicer a lot smoother the shadows look amazing the lighting also looks amazing what they actually talked about is that shadows and not just shadows as in object shadows but as in player shadows around corners and what they said that loud vehicles are passing outside they said that with the shadows and the uh, um, custom graphics that you could um, um, choose choose in choosing custom graphics they want to make sure that people who have higher graphics don't get a uh, high advantage so basically if you put your graphics on high you'll be able to see people around corners picking you'll be able to know that people are coming around corners before the other people who are playing with the normal graphics or without that high graphics settings so they are trying to make it so that either everybody's on the same play field everybody can see a certain level of of shadow or there will be no shadow for the high quality that but it, there is already so what they're trying to do is put a mixture of having shadows in the low settings which we basically don't have you can't really see shadows around corners because of the way the lighting is so that's basically what they have been talking about in that that whole dev blog the whole video is basically about shadows and at the end of it they basically gave us a cliffhanger again saying that they don't they don't um have a release date so they can tell us we have to look out for undercover dudes new videos where you'll give probably keys or on social media they'll be asking maybe they'll have a link and we'll click it and we'll be entered into like a giveaway of keys to test out the beta of the graphics update so in terms of maps they basically show about four maps they showed junk flea they showed the coaster recon they showed the um, oil rig and that boat i think it's called um ship i don't know i can't remember but these are the four maps basically they showed that had um, a phenomenal um graphics overhaul in coaster recon it doesn't really look like it had so much of a of a change but i guess it's because they showed the um the water and which is a common thing to get updated to um unreal engine 4 type graphics that's a common thing when you're using those type of engines and that should have been that way a long long time ago because now the waters are like little cubes coming on shore and that's just putting out 2000 or 1996 type of graphics so um in in the graphics update i think maybe the the oil rig looked the most fascinating the insides everything just looked really on point even the barrels that usually kill people and get so much kills they 
actually stand out now so you'll know exactly not to go by them even if they were red or whatever color they were um, they actually stand out now and um, you'll know exactly you shouldn't go by them and stand up um, the guns actually I don't really see much of a, a high up update from what they were looking like in the past they just look a little bit more grungy like you just snap on slap on textures and stuff like that what I really like to see in the video was um, there was a character they had running around walking around while undercover dudes was talking and he actually looked really really detailed the shading and everything the colors on him looked nice and balanced and stuff like that and I really liked it I really really liked it I really really appreciated that type that type of updates on it and you can see in, in um, oil rig all on the ground there uh, I'll put some pictures in so you guys can watch it while I talk where um, everything looks a bit more shiny and more polished and um, I mean that's the obvious thing to do in a graphics update and um, to tell the truth there isn't really much to cover about it so I'm just I'm just gonna stop here because it's not on Unreal Engine 4, it's just a bit of Jupiter Engine and it's just a little bit more um, comparable to Unreal Engine 4 or Cry Engine 3. That's just what it's comparable to now. But it's still not too um, so high graphics that it just blows all the games out of the roof. It's quite normal, I would say. It's just. Just a little update, little dev blog, nothing really important in it I would say because the, yes, these are things that we know already, just the gameplay that was really impressive. So thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe and um, stay royal.